Hello everyone, my name is Greg Niemczuk and I'm a pianist, a concert pianist from Poland, also a piano professor, piano teacher and a piano lover. Uh, today I decided to make a video about something that many of you asked me and I mentioned in my other videos uh, sometimes. Uh, something that I call a mental practicing, uh, practicing away from the piano, um, learning the music away from the piano. And again, I decided I was thinking how to make this video so that you can understand what I really mean. So I decided to uh, do just like I did. Maybe you watched my video about memorizing. I will do exactly the same thing. I will try to uh, learn, memorize and, 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 and learn how to play uh, a piece of music that I have never learned. And this is actually, I chose the piece of music that I have never learned, but I always wanted to play, but I never even tried. Uh, the Sergei Prokofiev Sonata Number no. 6. Um, maybe one day I will try, but I chose this piece because it's extremely hard, very difficult, very complex and very challenging. So I don't know how it, this video will go. I hope I can manage to show you um, a very important thing that in my opinion, there is no more efficient way of learning and practicing, especially difficult music, than practicing it away from the piano. So now I will uh, show you how to learn a piece without the piano. If you want to follow me, take the score of Sergei Prokofiev, Sonata number no. 6. Uh, I hope you never played it. And follow me and try to do it together with me, okay? So, first and the most important rule in practicing mentally is that we never, never, ever do it hands together. Um, I realized that a long time ago. I've heard from some piano teachers, they told me that you have to mental practice, you have to practice it mentally, you have to look at the score, you have to practice without piano. Okay, fine, but how to do it? I was trying, you know, look, staring at the score and trying to play and, and trying to play on the table, but it never really worked. I got only more and more and more frustrated and it was never good. And then uh, a little later, when I started also to, to, to practice a lot hands separately, I decided, well, I, I want to experiment and try to learn one piece of music without piano and then play it on piano. And I did, but I did each hand separately. It took me a lot of time, but it was worth it. So the first rule, one hand at a time. And now, Let's focus, we focus, I will focus now on the right hand and I show you how I do it. So the, the idea, the, the most important thing is that you have to be able to imagine the keyboard. This is very easy because we have, you know, two black and three, two and three, two and three. So imagine the keyboard and then look at the score uh, and start to play. So. I know this also a little bit from, uh, of course, it's a very popular sonata, so I know how it sounds, but I never played it, never, I promise. So um, I just imagine the first motif first, this pam, ta ta ta, right? And then I imagine what is here. This is the minor third. We have C sharp and E, and then I have to name all the all the keys that I'm touching. So. Then there is the major, major, and major. Okay, minor, major, 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 three. Okay, now, and now how I'm doing this? I imagine, I feel that I touch C sharp and E, then C natural and E, B flat and D, and A and C sharp. Is it correct? Yes. And then how many times we have it? Dum, ta ta ta. Second, bam, pa pa pa. Third, ta ta ta. Fourth. And then we end on the octave E. Yes. 
Now I can play the first line. Let's try. That's enough. That's enough for my brain. Now I have to play it from the score once just to see if I didn't make any mistake. So. Okay, that's not. That's, that's, uh, that's okay. Now I can play back. Now I can do it again. Because the, the, the first phrase ends lam ta tam paham and here on that so then I want to uh, learn and memorize also this next the next bar so we have the octave and then F sharp so um, the lower voice goes the scale E F sharp G natural and A E F sharp G sharp yeah G natural E F sharp, G natural, and A. What, which scale is this? For me, it's E minor. So I remember that as E minor. Pam, pa pam, tam, ta tam, pam. Tam, ta tam, pam. And the upper voice has E, E, and A. Tam, pa pam, pam. Okay, so now I can play it. Okay, I can do it um, and I have it memorized. I don't want to play yet, but I will play it later a little just to, to show you and prove you. Okay, let's continue now. Then what we have next? We have uh, C sharp. This is like E sharp and C sharp and then G and B sharp, so now I have to make a chord out of this so that I can have some kind of um, mental connection. So what notes do we have here? We have E sharp, G sharp and C sharp, which is a C sharp major for me. And we have also B sharp, which has nothing to do with this chord because it's just the seventh it's, it's the, you know, it's the, so it, it, it is not the harmonic, but as something that also we can memorize. Um, so for me, this is like C sharp major, major, and then this is like G sharp major, a D, and then we have pa, 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 like a trill in the lower voice. B sharp, B natural, B sharp. D, dum, pam, pam, D, dum, pam, pam, right? And then the same thing, but the, the the upper voice is the same, but the lower voice is one minor second down. Okay, let me, now I have to repeat it a few times so that it goes deeper into my brain. So... B natural. I know it's, it may be weird for you what I'm doing now, but uh, I hope you follow me. Uh, that will be uh, useful for you if you follow me. And then C minor D and E, E and A. And that's enough. Uh, not, not enough. One more bar we have to do. But first this one. One more time. One more time. And now I'm playing only this one, two, three, four notes. And then I have E natural and B, B natural. So Then what the, this I want to do also this the arpeggio here done. So what notes do we have here? Uh, we start from F sharp, uh, F sharp minor, 
F sharp minor, then I should have the, the pencil to write it down. Well, I don't have any pencil now here anyway. So F sharp minor, G major, F sharp minor, and G major seventh, and ending on A. So F sharp, F sharp minor, F, F sharp minor, G major, F sharp minor, G, okay, we're done. This is something that I also want to mentally practice to, that goes to the tempo and then show you that I can play it in the tempo, hopefully, uh, without practicing this on the piano, on playing on the piano, right? So, this, and this is the same, so, I, I am aware of each of the keys that I'm touching. F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, then we have B notch, B, D, G, G, B, then F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, and G, B, D, F, A. That's exactly how is this. So, I have to make a stop here. So, stop, 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 stop and da, 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 da. And then we have the same at the beginning. This is enough. I don't want this video to be too too long. I can do it with the whole first movement, of course, but it takes some time. But I just want to show you. So now let's see if I can play it uh, from the beginning. Oh, I forgot what the um, E. Bam, 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 bam. Um, yeah, okay, I remember. And now we have Okay, I can. I can do it. but okay uh, let's see now maybe it's a little bit too early but let's see now this will be uh, the the moment of the truth first I will not play too fast because it's the first time but I want to show you how much I remember check it again. Uh, e. I forgot that there is two times E and then there is A. One more time from the beginning. Now this is quite tricky so I have to practice. Yeah, that's how it is. Yeah, that's good. That's good. You know, I I never played it, so it's something, but this is so important and so good. That's how it is. Yes. Yes. 
Yes? Yes. So my ear doesn't tell me it is good or not. But... But now I can play it. One more time. Practice that, right? And I tell you what, I will never forget it. Sorry. This is something that I have to. Yeah, that's all. That's almost done. So. something to practice but I can I can already play it and of course I usually I go more with the right hand and I learn the long part with the right hand um, but I can also try to play the left hand a D sharp D sharp a D sharp D sharp a D sharp D sharp D sharp and E flat major that's enough. A D sharp, D sharp, A D sharp, D sharp, A D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, D sharp, D sharp. So let's try. But very slowly now. And now, is it really true? Yeah, that's how it is. It's not an easy piece, that's not an easy piece, that's why I chose it, just to show you that everything is possible in our head, but then we have to check, of course, like we always do, but then, that just like I do this, I can go on with every single bar, and every single bar, when practiced first mentally and then on piano, uh, the, the effects, the, the, the progress is spectacular, so I really... That's enough, I think. Uh, now I can. Now I can do it. And I don't know how long it takes, but it, I don't think it was such a long um, time uh, before I memorized it. And I memorized it for good. So who knows, maybe I will learn this piece also. But this is um, what I call mental practicing. Another thing is mental practicing of pieces that we already know. Uh, if you have some problems, you also should um, imagine the keyboard and practice the, the hand that you have problem with mentally, repeating, playing slowly, playing faster. This is so, so important and I strongly recommend I am practicing like this uh, on the airplanes. Um, I had some concert tours in, in Latin America when they didn't provide me for the piano to practice for two weeks. Every day I was doing like this and I could play concerts without any problems. I was so sure about everything I played. So I really strongly recommend you to do this uh, because it's extremely, extremely helpful. But of course, also very tiring. So after half an hour of practicing like this, or 40 minutes, you are exhausted. Thank you very much for watching and I hope it was useful for you. Bye bye.